everybody welcome back to the 2018 granny square crochet along today we're making the block stitch granny now block stitch can be worked in rows or the round um it's a really really lovely lovely stitch it's so simple to work up um you can use any amount of colors you like um there's only two um stitch patterns to remember um yeah so it lovely lovely square so um i did this one in two colors to show you how effective that looks if you're just using the two colors um but today i'm going to um these where the white is on here i'm going to mix it up and i'm going to use three different colors one for each round and i'm going to have um my gray for my um main color okay so grab your things and let's get started okay so to start you can either use the magic ring or chain four and slip stitch into your first chain and then you're going to chain two for a double crochet we would normally chain three but actually um this keeps it a bit closer and not so um gappy um you'll see as we go along and then you're going to do two double crochet one two and chain two for your corner if my work will stay on my hook that'd be great and then you're going to do three double crochet one two three and chain two and then you're going to do three more double crochet chain two three more double crochet chain two and when you have all four sets of three double crochet you are going to slip stitch into your top chain so that's your second chain do a slip stitch in there Obviously, if you want to do it as a chain three, then feel free if you prefer that. But you can see this just keeps it a really nice height there against the rest. Okay, now we are meant to fasten off here. I'm just going to show you. This is um, my previous one. And um, I have fastened off every round. So it does give you a lot of tails to sew in. But it's so worth it. So worth it. Um because you get a really nice neat clean back um but if you would prefer to um because we are meant to be fastening and fastening we're meant to be fastening off here and then joining a new color um but if you would prefer um you can carry your color up but you'd have to be really careful how you did it so that it didn't show through your new color because okay, so you could carry these up um, but it will will not have the same effect okay but just telling you that if you prefer to do that so you don't have all your tails but believe me look how neat is this it's so worth it just you know a few minutes sewing in some ends is worth it so fasten this color off and grab your new color now I should have actually said the reason that you'll have all those tails is because it's really difficult to um, work over your colours because over your ends because there's so many gaps. Um, I did try it, but it just ended up looking messy and you know trailing colours across. So um, oh, excuse me, just had a hiccup there. <clears throat> okay, so your new colour with a slip knot. You're going to join. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, you're going to join it into a corner. Gosh, I'm very croaky today. Obviously not drunk enough coffee. So join into a corner, now you can join with a slip stitch if you prefer, or you can just go straight ahead and do a single crochet. So I've got my slip knot on my hook, popping it into this chain space, bringing my yarn through, I've now got the two loops, and then bringing that yarn through, and there's your first single crochet. Scooch that around to um, the first, like this, this um, closest part of your corner. And then you're going to chain three and then do another single crochet chain three single crochet in your next corner chain three 
single crochet in that same corner, chain three, single crochet in the next corner, chain three, single crochet in the same corner, chain three, oh my yarn's creeping up there, uh, chain three, single crochet in the next corner, chain three, single crochet in the same corner, chain three, and a slip stitch to your first single crochet. And that is as simple as that round is. And then when we work over it, you will just get those beautiful pops of colour. So fasten this colour off and grab your main colour back, unless you want to do your main colour um, differently every round. Of course, you could literally you could have a whole kaleidoscope if you liked. So anyway, fasten this off and grab your next colour. So I was just thinking as I was getting my, my um, slip knot ready, you could really have some fun with this. You could, in doing the colours, um, oh my gosh. And as Sammy um, always says, we love to see how you change up the colours on the squares and, uh, and um, what you do with your squares. We love it. Um, it's great to see those and if you're not part of the Facebook group the details are all in that description box just below um, You can come and join us come and show us your photos We love seeing photos of your squares So get your color and join into any corner space with a slip stitch Of course if you know the standing double crochet by all means do a standing double crochet that is absolutely fine if you prefer to do that. One day I will learn it and then I'll show you it. <laughs> I think I somehow by default managed to do a standing double treble the other day. I don't know how I did that. Anyway, chain two and two more double crochet. Chain two, three double crochet. And then into your chain space, three double crochet. Into your next corner, three double crochet. Here we on. Chain two. And three double crochet. Next space, three double crochet. And you can probably see exactly where we're heading with this. So in your next corner, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and the same all the way around. And I'll see you at the end. There we go. And then, as before, join into your top chain and then um, do, uh, and then fasten off. Grab your next colour. So you can see here, we're just getting these little pops of colour. How cool is that? Love it. So, fasten off, grab your next colour. These um, granny squares um, with the colour changes are so great for using up those little bits of, um, of yarn left over from other projects, aren't they? great okay so join your color into a corner and as before do a single crochet move that around and then chain three and another single crochet chain three and now we are going to do our single crochets um, we're going to single crochets between our sets of double crochet okay so these two gaps here um, you're going to do a single crochet in the first one chain three single crochet in the next gap well technically there's not really a gap because there's no chain but you know we make a gap <laughs> so chain three and then do your corner of single crochet chain three and single crochet chain three 
a single crochet into the gap. Chain three. Single crochet between the next two. <clears throat> Here we are. Chain three. Do your corner. And you're going to work around all the way around like this in the same way. Um, doing your single crochets and then chain three in between and then your corners. And I'll meet you back around here. Do your slip stitch in your first single crochet. Okay, so when you've finished that round of your single crochets and chain threes, it is time for another double crochet round. So um, fasten off your colour and join your double crochet colour into a corner. And the good thing with joining into the corners and staggering where we do our chains is that you really can't, can't see where you started on each round. They just kind of disappear in with the rest so it's really really good staggering them um okay and actually if you notice that doing the chain twos makes it sort of not so obvious as well okay so join your new color in and do a chain two and then two more double crochets just as we did before and then chain two and three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then straight over to the next um, chain space. Okay, no chaining in between. Straight over and doing three double crochet. Straight over to the next one, three double crochet. And straight over to the next one three double crochet and to your corner three double crochet chain two three double crochet two three and then straight over to your next space and you're going to do this all the way around until you get back to your start and when you get back to your start you are going to do a slip stitch into your chop chain and fasten off so I will see you back around at the start okay so here's what we've got going on so far how cute is that looking I love it love it love it so um, fasten that off and then get your next colour. Now I was going to use three different colours but I realised I've still got quite a bit left on this little ball here. So I'm going to just go back to my pink. So join in your corner space with a single crochet. I really did a slip stitch there. You can do a slip stitch and then a single crochet if you prefer. Uh, and then chain three single crochet so you've done this before it's just um each round gets bigger you just have um extra spaces to go into so in between your two sets of double crochet do a oh no 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 chain three oops single crochet in there chain three there we go in between the next two chain three single crochet in between the next two chain three single crochet between the next two, chain three, in the corner single crochet, chain three, single crochet and I will lead you to continue all the way around in exactly the same way and do a slip stitch in your first single crochet when you finish. There we go, we are on to our last round. Can you believe it? So soon we're on to our last round and I'm loving these colours. It's so funky and fun. This one here is more sort of, you know, classic and calm um, and beautiful, loving that. But this one, so funky, love it. So get your double crochet colour, slip knot on there and join into a corner with a slip stitch. I cannot believe how quick this square is to make up. Love it. So chain two, and you know what to do here. Two more double crochet. 
without losing your loop. It's going loopy. <laughs> uh three so there's three double crochet chain two and three more double crochet one two three okay so you've just got um extra chains to work into this time but do exactly as you've done before three double crochet three double crochet all the way along no chains in between and then you'll corner out three double crochet chain two three double crochet and when you get back round to here join into your top chain and i'll see you back around there and there we go bazinga how cute is that you could probably do a blanket out of this it would look so cool but then you'd have a lot of ends unless you did something very clever um love it love it now if this isn't quite the size that you need it to be you could um probably managed to do um, another row of these single crochets and then your doubles obviously a single one of these single crochet rows wouldn't really work at the edge because you'd have all those chains quite loosely um but the other way you could do it if you need to extend it a little is um it's probably just to do a single crochet row of doing one single crochet into every stitch and then in your corners do three single crochets and that would um, make it just it wouldn't detract from the pattern that we've already got but it would just sort of finish your round off if you needed a little bit extra um, in height there or even half double crochets and then um, again just doing three in your corners but there we go that is our pattern today the block stitch granny so if you found this useful and helpful as always give us a thumbs up um, click that like button and um, subscribe if you haven't and um, any comments or questions leave them below or in the group we'd love to hear from you until next time just keep cooking and don't let your tea get cold